Oh, hello. Welcome to my workshop. My name is Louis Palladini and welcome to Creations in Clay. Uh, right now I'm just looking at one of the sculptures I did in the past. It's of a wolf. And, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite sculptures and there's a lot of detail here. And I just kind of want to turn this very slowly so you can kind of get an idea of the kind of detail that's in this piece. In, uh, you know, you can see there's a, there's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of color here that you can see in the sculpture, with the ground, and there's a lot of various colors. So, that, uh, wolves are very majestic animals, and they're one of my favorite animals to do. I, I do have another sculpture at home that I'll bring in sometime. It's a four timber wolves surrounding a bull moose, and there's kind of like a little fight going on. And, but uh, we'll show you that another time. But tonight, what I would like to do is I'd like to focus on making a dinosaur, and I'll show you how to make that from start to finish. It's, uh, this is the dinosaur here. It's an Apatosaurus. Years ago, it was called the Brontosaurus, but then they had to change it back to Apatosaurus. I guess that was the original name for the dinosaur. But uh, I'll show you how to make that and paint it and do it from start to finish. And it's a very interesting animal. It's a plant eater. One of the predators that would go after this type of dinosaur years ago was called Lalosaurus. And Someday I'll do one of those too. That's cool because it's got lots of teeth and claws. But uh, I'll show you. You can do this with many types of clay. There's an air hardening clay here. You can buy this in any art store. This will probably harden like in a couple of hours or overnight. And then you can paint this particular one. And then the other types of clay you can use are, there's an oil-based clay. This is a very good clay to use. It never hardens. And I used to use this all the time when I was a kid, and I loved using it. You can use it again and again. You can make something with it, and then you can des destroy it and make something new with it. And, you know, that's the great thing about it. You never had to worry about it. If you left it out, it wasn't going to harden on you like some types of clay might. The, my preference for the clay is something called Super Sculpey. You can keep this, fire this in the oven at 275 degrees for uh, 15 to 20 minutes and it becomes hard, then you can paint it. And it's great to work with, it's a really good type of clay. Uh, I'll show you the types of, or the clay that we'll be using tonight. I have various clay, bo clay balls. The first clay ball here that you see here, this is what we would be using for the tail on the dinosaur. And that's the size ball that you want to use for that. The next size ball that we'll be using is for the body. And this is the size ball that you want to use for the body. The, the, the one that we'll be using for the head and the neck is this size right here. And then for the two back legs here, we'll be using this size ball. And then for the two front legs, we'll be using this, this size ball. These are, the front legs are slightly smaller than the rear legs, so they're, they're just slightly smaller. The first thing we want to do is take and make the body. So I will take this ball of clay here, and we'll kind of work it into the shape of almost like a potato, that type of a shape. And we'll just kind of work it like this, and I'll show you. That's what it's, that's kind of what it's starting to look like. I think of it just like as a potato, basically, right now. And we'll just kind of work it like that, and that's the, the shape that we want right now. I'll show you that from various angles. That's what it looks like from the side the front, the sides, and the bottom. The next thing that we will want to do is we want to take and make the head and the neck. So I will show you, we will take, and what we will do, we can roll this on the table to make the head and the neck. This will make it a little easier for us to do. You know, it's great having the table because you can use it for various things like this to make the neck and kind of roll it out. That that will keep it even. So what we will do is we will make proceed to make the head here. We will make. I will show you. Just kind of make it kind of almost like an oval shape like that. We're going to make the head like that, and then we're going to just do that. What we would do now is I'm going to take and attach this neck to the body. 
like this. We kind of just work the clay in like this so we can work that dinosaur neck in there and just work it just like that. And we'll go all around and we're going to put, put it like that. You know, the next step that we want to take in the process is we want to make the tail. So we got this ball of clay. We will take and we will roll this on the table, just like so. And I will finish shaping it in a minute. What we will take is we kind of want to make a point on the tail. See, I'm kind of making that into a, like a nice little point. We'll just kind of shape that a little bit with our fingers, like that. And I'll show you, that's kind of what it looks like from the top, the sides, the bottom. And that's basically the shape that it will be taking. So what we want to do now is we want to attach that tail to the body. So I'm going to take and I'm going to attach the tail here, as you can see. And you just work it in with your, with your fingers and your thumb. Just kind of just work it in like that. You want to take and make sure that it's attached. If you don't do this properly, it, it will come off. But as long as you attach it properly, you should be all set. So we'll just kind of work that in like that. And we will take another quick look. And this is what the dinosaur will look like at this point in time. That's kind of what it will look like from the bottom the sides. So now we've made the, the neck, the head, we have the tail. Well, now we want to concentrate on doing the four legs. I'll show you how to do those. We will take this ball of clay here and we will make the front, one of the front legs. So I'm just going to take and kind of make, it almost like it looks like a miniature tree trunk the way we're working on it right now. I'm going to take and just work it like this and It'll look like a miniature tree, like I said. And then you also want to take and go down to the table like this and tap it a little bit to kind of flatten out the foot. It's a good way to flatten it out and make it. And then, as you can see here, this is what the, the leg will start to look like. And what I will do is we will take now, and we will take that leg, and we will work it in right here. We work that into the side of the dinosaur. And you kind of attach it like this. You work it like that. As you can see, we're working that clay in. What we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're going to do the other leg on the other side. So I'll put this on the table and we will take and we will make another, the other right front leg. You take and just kind of work it like this, like a little log. And we're going to take now, and we're going to tap this on the table, just ever so slightly. And that makes the, you see, makes the bottom of the foot. Makes it nice and round. It's a good, good method to kind of make that. So we we'll just kind of continue to shape that. And that's what it will look like from the side, the top. So it kind of gives you an idea what it looks like. I'm going to make it nice and round. We will take this now, and we're going to work this in on the right side here. So we're going to take this, and just going to work the clay in right here. And you're going to just work that in. And do that. Just take it like that. The next step in the process now, now that we've got those two legs done, we want to do the rear legs. So we're going to take, and we're going to take this ball of clay here, and we're going to make it almost like into like another tree trunk. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take it, and I'll show you. We're going to put a slight bend into it. We're going to take, and we're going to tap it on the table again, like we did the other one. Just tap that like that. As you can see, it's nice and round now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shape this leg a little bit. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how we're going to work it. You want to kind of shape it. There's going to be a slight bend in it. See how we have a slight bend in the leg? This is what it will look like from the front. 
and this is what it will look like from the sides. There's a slight bend. So I took this kind of, it's almost like you have a straight log and then you go like this. And you give it that slight bend. So what we would take is we will take this leg now and we will work it in right here on this dinosaur. You're going to work it in like that. And just work it in. Then you, you might want to do a little from the bottom too. We have our trusty toothpick today, and we will use that for kind of working this in from the bottom. So you kind of take, and you kind of work that like that, and that will kind of attach the bottom piece. So the next step we will take is we want to make the other leg. So we will do the same thing for this. We will take, and we will make it almost like into a little log, like this, and just sculpt it and we're going to take and we're going to tap this on the table too to kind of give it that round foot like effect and then we will take and as we did with the other one we can see we make this it looks like a log but now we're going to put that light switch tw twist into it see I kind of bend it a little bit and that will give it the the shape that we want so we will take this leg now and we're going to attach it right here to the dinosaur. So we're going to attach it on this side. You're going to take, you just kind of work that in like that. So what we're going to do with this dinosaur, I'm going to show you, we want to take and we want to kind of like have him walking. So I'm going to take now and shape his legs a little better now. So I'm going to take and pull that leg back Push that one forward, like that. And then on the other side, we're going to take and we're going to put the leg. I'm going to show you. We're going to have the leg. We're going to pull those slightly apart like that. So it gives the effect that he is walking. Now, why dinosaur? I'm going to make, make his leg or his neck go up a little more. Well, the next step in this process is we're going to take, now that we've created the head, we're going to take and make the eyes. So what I'm going to do is take and take and put this for make an eye there. So you can see that. Then we're going to go to the other side. Now make an approximately the same location. And then what we want to do is we're going to take and we're going to make the nose. So we're going to take and go like this. And then I'm going to turn a little bit, and I'm going to do like this. And we're going to, we want a happy dinosaur, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to take, and we're going to make like, almost like a little smiley face on him. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Like right here. So we take and go like this. So you can see... I'm going to try, maybe I didn't make it, but he's a happy dinosaur. So the next step in the process that we want to do is we want to learn how to make the skin. I'm going to show you a new technique tonight. What we're going to do is we're going to take, and we're going to take a toothpick. I'm going to have different sizes. I'm going to have the full size, and I broke one in half like this. And then we're going to roll this over the dinosaur, and it has a really nice effect when you make the skin. Nobody knows what dinosaur skin really look like, but I think that this is just an interesting texture, and you'll see, and I think you'll agree once you see what it looks like, that it, it was a good choice. So what we want to do is take, and I'm going to take and roll this toothpick over the body like this. You can, you know, we're going we're to roll this over the body, just like so, that that way we can give it the texture. Now we're going to do this all over the entire dinosaur. I'm just going to lift this a little bit so you can kind of see the detail on the back. See how the, the texture changed on the clay? It's really cool the way it, the effect that it gives. So we're going to do that over the entire dinosaur. And I'll show you. We'll roll it here. We're going to do that in the legs. And we're going to do that over the entire body. And then we're going to take 
you can take and just kind of maybe like take this and roll it back and forth. You just roll it like that. It gives a really nice texture, but we're going to, we'll do all the legs. I'll just show you a little bit on each. You want to do the tail, like we were, I was saying, you want to kind of roll that back and forth. Just kind of roll that like that. And that, we're going to do that over the entire dinosaur. I'll show you, we'll do it on the legs. You just have to be careful because you don't want to ruin your, any of the work that you've done. So just kind of roll that gently. You'll do the, and you'll want to do, we'll want to do the neck. So we're going to get that. And you roll it. So you just kind of take it in your hand and roll it up and down. So, but just do that over the entire dinosaur. And one of the other things we want to do with this, clay is so thick tonight, I want to just poke a hole in the bottom of the dinosaur so when it, it is fired in the oven, it will, the gases will escape and it won't crack. Because if we don't do that, it, it will crack. And, um, you know, so we have that. And what I will do is I will show you now, that's the dinosaur that we made. This is what the dinosaur will look like when it's fired in the oven. You can see... You can see all the texture that I made with the toothpick. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, you can see those, it gives that, that rough texture on the skin for the entire dinosaur. And what we will do is we will proceed to paint this now. I'm going to use two different colors tonight. And I, I have these paints here. You can buy them in any art store. There's about 18 different acrylic paints here. They're great to use, you know, you can, they wash off very easily, you know, your, your hands, and they, they're, very, they're very easy to clean up. So what we proceed to do is I'll put some of these clays aside that we have here, and I will take out the paints that we need. The two colors we will use tonight are going to be black, and then we were going to use the color green right here. And I'll put those right there. And we are going to paint the dinosaur. What we're going to do is we're going to take two different brushes. The Tonight I think I'll actually get another brush out of my package because I want to do the eyes and they're very, very small. So I'll take a, I think we'll use this brush here. It's very, got a very, very fine point. And I think that that would be important to do the eyes because they're going to be very, very tiny. The one that we'll use for the body will be this one. It's a little thicker and you can paint a lot more area with it. So I think the first thing that we will do is we will proceed to paint the dinosaur the green color. So I'll take this and we will take and I will show you how to paint it. The first part of the dinosaur here, we'll do the underside. Go back and forth with strokes like this. Back and forth, back and forth. And then you also want to do the same for the legs. So go back and forth like this, up and down. Up and down. And it's really cool because you can start to see the texture that we created when you're painting in this. You can see all the little lines and things. It's really cool. You'll take and we will paint the entire, all the legs. So I'm going to show you how we do the legs here. We're going to do the, the inner part of the leg. It's probably better to paint the underside and some of those areas that you're not going to be touch, don't have to touch. And um, as you can see, we're painting the dinosaur, the green color. We'll, we'll just paint a little bit more of it. I just want to give you the idea. You just kind of paint over it. Nobody knows what the color of the dinosaurs were, but I think green's a good color. Uh, it always seems to be a traditional color for dinosaurs. So I think that that's why we ended up using it. So we will take, and I will paint, 
You can see the body. We will do that. We will paint and proceed to do the neck. And we want to paint the entire dinosaur like this with the green color. The next step in the process, I want to show you how to do the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So I'm going to take and put my paintbrush here. We are going to take and we are going to do the color black paint. So I'll take and I'll open this up. And we will take, and what I will do is we will just ever so slightly take this and dab the eye. We will do the same thing on the other side. As you can see here, we'll do that there. And then I will show you we'll do the nose. And then we will proceed to do the mouth. We will proceed, and then you do the other side too. So, like that. So, that's, you just, you'll continue to paint the dinosaur. What I'm going to show you now is what the finished dinosaur will look like. And that's what this dinosaur the completed dinosaur will look like this. As you can see, you can see the eyes and the nose and the mouth. I painted those in black. The, the dino, all the dinosaurs and the entire dinosaur is green. So it, it, you know, it has a nice effect. And you can, you can see I did the eyes and the nose there. You can see, you can see that. And you can see the black color paint, which is great. And uh, that's, uh, that's the Apatosaurus. They used to call it a Brontosaurus years ago, but it, uh, it's a plant-eating dinosaur. And it's, it's, it's in a lot of movies. Like you, you might have seen King Kong in some of those movies. And that was used in King Kong. And just the, you see in a lot of old dinosaur movies, like from the 50s and the 60s, and, which is uh, it's a very popular animal. In that uh, appears to be we conclude our show tonight, and I want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week, and I just want to get back to looking at my sculpture, what I did last time, because I'm thinking about doing another wolf sculpture, so I always like to look at previous pieces and see how I might be able to prove upon them in the future. So, thanks again. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.